over here is sunbathing. It's so interesting how I can, in one moment, feel like really good about slowing down my life and not so focused on what I get done or how many things I get done. And another minute, another day, I can experience so much bleep it bleep ass guilt <laughs> about not getting more things done. And in these moments, on these type of days, this is when I can really lean into and trust that this is not about a forever struggle that I'm going to have with hustle culture, grind culture, and recovering from that, de-schooling from that. But instead, I'm really just still building the skill. It took me a long time to build a skill of hustle, grind, get her done, knock it out, cross the things off the list all day, every day, what? It took me a long time to get there. And it is going to take me some time to get comfortable with where I am now. where I will honor the fact that my life through deliberate design, through God, through some luck, through a lot of community support in a variety of ways, including my family, all of these things have led me to a place where I don't have to go fast and get a lot done every day. So as I'm lying here, <laughs> I realized that this was an opportunity for me to record some real shit about what happens when I'm in this loop of feeling guilty about not doing more, but not so guilty that I get up and do it. I can recognize that the fact that I don't feel so guilty that I get up and do it, or I make myself busy doing something else so that I don't feel bad about not doing the thing that I wanted to get done. I'm not doing any of those things. That's skill up-leveling. I have gotten stronger. That's like doing the push-up, not on my knees for all five push-ups, but only doing two of them on my knees and doing three of them, you know, the regular ass push-up way. <laughs> so me getting out my coloring book, me watching another episode of a series that I've been meaning to watch, me playing with the sunlight and my camera, these are also skills. These are ways that I gently move myself away from my old habits. Be like, come here, girl. Come. Touch my own shoulder. <laughs> you know, and gently use my four fingers to just turn that shoulder a little bit. Be like, what's over here? Look at this coloring book. It's so pretty. <laughs> Childlike bringing myself into the reminder that there are other things for me to experience. Coloring is not something I'm doing. It's something I'm experiencing. Watching this series sporadically is not something I'm doing. It's something I'm experiencing. So there's a difference between doing and experiencing for me. And that's an important aspect of detangling myself from grind culture. This is a, a hack in the terms of it's effective for me almost every time. There are sometimes a small percentage at a time where that shit don't work. And then I end up doing something else on my to-do list that feels a little easier than the big task that I'm not wanting to do in a moment. And I feel like that's okay too, because then there are other moments like this one when I don't replace the things that I want to do or I intended to do with other things to do. Instead, I used to call it a to-do list and a to-feel list, which still applies. But really, nowadays, I'm thinking about it like there are things that I do, and then there are other things that I'm experiencing. And at any moment, because of how my life is set up, because it is softer and slower on purpose, I can distinguish between what is the healthiest thing for my mind, my heart, my spirit in this moment? Is it to go on ahead? Is it to go on ahead and like 
give myself a couple of hours of experiencing so that I can come back to doing something that has a deadline, you know, that is attached to somebody else's project because I'll be doing work for people as a coach, as a consultant, as somebody who has a residency, right? There are things that I need to do in a timely manner to honor my commitments, but how I structure my time even in the same day, not my weekly list or my monthly list, but even that day, I can gently move around the order of things, especially if I blending doing and experiencing in times when it feels heavy, right? It's about discernment because then I can realize that there are other times when I don't have to do this thing today or I might not have to do it at all, depending on what the thing is. So I invite discernment when I slow down instead of trying to do this hard discipline, do it this day because I said I was going to do it this day. Mm, not everything needs to be painted with that brush. Some things do sometimes, not all things, not all the time, maybe not even most of the time. If you got value from this, and if you too are learning how to savor your life and be softer and slower on purpose, like the video and leave a comment and just put the word slow in the comments if you got some value out of this. Just the word slow. More soon. Much love. Peace. Thank you.